In today's video, I will teach you how to draw rectangles, squares, and boxes in GIMP. Let's get started! Creating shapes in GIMP can be achieved through various methods, and each method offers different possibilities. Here are detailed explanations on three methods for creating shapes in GIMP. The first method is making a solid shape. First, create a selection by switching to the rectangular select tool, or simply use the shortcut key R. Click and drag on the canvas to draw a rectangle or a square. You can adjust the size and position as needed and simply press enter to finalize the selection. Now, to fill your selection, select the foreground color, switch to the bucket fill tool or use the shortcut key shift B, then set the fill type to FB color fill. Now, click inside the selection to fill with the chosen color or pattern. Alternatively, you can use the control key to fill with the foreground color. To fill with the gradient, Switch to the Gradient tool, or simply use the shortcut key G. Click and drag inside a selection to fill with a chosen gradient. Repeat for multiple shapes on separate layers. The second method is by making an outline shape. First, create a selection by using the Rectangle Select tool. And to apply a stroke, open the Edit menu, and click Stroke Selection. Now. Customize Stroke Settings in the Stroke Selection dialog box, then click Stroke to apply the stroke. And the third method is by drawing straight lines in GIMP. You can do this by drawing with brush tools. Choose a brush-based tool, for example, paintbrush, clone tool, and the likes. Then click at the starting point of the shape, hold Shift and move to the next corner for a straight line. For a proper shape, Hold the control key along with the shift key to constrain the angle. These methods allow users to create rectangles, squares, and other shapes in GIMP with different fill and stroke options. Experimenting with these techniques provides flexibility in design and image editing. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.